Hello everyone, I'm Maddie Sias, and today I'm going to show you how to make very simple um, tacos with what you have. So mine are going to be with meat. Um, so I have here some steak that I've cut up into pieces. You can cut, cut it into smaller pieces so it really makes like a, a, a garnish for your taco. Here I um I just sliced it in uh, in big parts so I could I could get more meat on one taco. But usually they do it very 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 thin. I don't have what I what they use to make it so thin, but it's uh it's good enough. So I use um, tortillas. You can uh, buy your own pre-made tacos if you want, or you can make them out of tortillas, or uh, another one, I don't remember its name, but it's smaller, and it looks more like a taco. But yeah, this is gonna do. Um, you need corn, on a cob, or in uh, a can, it doesn't change anything. And you're gonna need red or white beans. Uh, you want to choose red because they have more taste. I think that the white ones are not really made for tacos. I've never seen someone else uh, put white beans on their taco. So you're going to um, you're, you're going to turn on your oven, your oven. And you're going to you're going to take a, a, a tortilla. I'm stirring because I'm drunk. So this is how it is. It's a little bit bigger than your usual taco. You want to add oil. Mine is already oil from the previous cooking, but you, you should use oil. Um, I used um, sunflower oil. You can use olive oil. Uh, even better, but I wouldn't recommend it. And you're going to wait for your tor tortilla to... Get uh, a nice brown in a color and a nice crispy texture. My meat is kind of cold because it stayed out, not for long, like two hours. Um, but with the warm tortilla, it's gonna warm up the meat, so I don't have to use uh, my iron or my oven or my uh, microwave. I don't recommend you to microwave meat. See how it. The, the little spots get fatter. See, it's already starting to crisp. So you're gonna turn on the fire. You're gonna turn turn on the heat. And it's gonna get a little bit crispy like this. I like to use Frank's Red Hot for uh, the taco sauce because it's easy to put on. You can use our uh, ranch sauce or Caesar sauce or. Um, or mustard or ketchup or you can use uh, hot sauce like this, harissa very hot sauce bad packets like these um, little cubes a tomato sauce, I don't see why you would put tomato sauce on the tortilla but you can um, see it's starting to burn it's starting to burn because uh, my fire is too high it, sh it should be enough so I'm gonna take a plate it's not going to be a very crispy one because the fire is too high and it didn't have it didn't have time to fully cook. It's more burnt than cooked, but it's going to be good enough. So it's very warm. There's a lot of oil. And so uh, how to make the shape? You're going to put it just like this. You don't have to fold it. You just put it on, on its side. And you're gonna wait for it to cool down, and when cooling down, the oil is gonna dry, and it's gonna give it its U shape that makes it uh, a taco, a Mexican taco. All right, so I'm gonna cut for some minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna put another one in the pan, and uh, I'll see you when this one is done. All right, it's been a few minutes. It took its shape, so you see now it's uh, it's. It stays in place. So the order I like to put 
my garnish on this thing is um, you start by the meat. Start by the meat. This is beef meat. You can put chicken. You can put um, fish. We can. We're gonna add it up after. Don't forget to season your meat with uh, pepper or spices or whatever you put in your meat. I just like to put salt. I don't even use um, fat besides the water from, uh, I don't know, pasta when I could cook pasta with it. I'm going to leave some some more for the other taco if I'm hungry. So my meat is cold, but the, the shell is going to make it warm. So I don't need to waste energy by using the oven. Uh, I have some corn. I'm going to add the, the beans first because they're bigger. So, I'm going to have to... Oh. Off you go. There you go. You don't even have to use a spoon. You just pour it on until it... Careful not to drop it. Yeah, I should have a little bit more. There you go. This is a well-garnished taco. Oh my god. It's a very well-garnished taco. You want to add some corn? I'm going to add the whole thing of corn. Like, it's hard to do what we want to with one, one hand. Cat. Yeah. So it's it's going to be it's going to be a very full taco. Yeah, it's going to be a very full taco. <clears throat> and you want to add cheese. I like to add cheese. You can put it back in the oven if you want to melt the cheese. I don't. So I'm just going to put it on like this. You have your plate. And you put some cheese on it. Yeah. It's color. It should be colorful. It should be nice to look at. If you succeeded. Forget to turn on, turn off your. Okay, and now, last but not least, you're gonna put your sauce onto your whole preparation. I really like hot sauce, so I'm gonna put a lot of a lot of hot sauce on it. You can use pretty much anything you want. You put whatever you want in the taco, and there you go. <clears throat> this is a nice, heavy. Delicious taco with meat, beans, corn, and cheese. And of course, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.